to hand to you as you leave today if you're interested. We've also produced a coffee table book called Points of Light, which includes uh, statements from a hundred of the signatories of the Punta del Este Declaration about what human dignity means to them. For example, Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs wrote in his book, The Dignity of Difference, the ultimate value we should be concerned to maximize is human dignity. And the Oxford theologian Andrew Teal observed that declarations are not about having a good argument. They're about asserting what we believe to be true as a matter of love and value. In the coming year, in 2023, our center, together with many, and hopefully some in this room, plan to uh, focus on three projects to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Punta del Este Declaration. We'll be talking about this in greater detail in our breakout session at 2.30 this afternoon. But I want to just mention them very briefly. Uh, we will be working from our center at Brigham Young University, and we'll be working first on a project on Islamic conceptions of human dignity. It turns out that within Islam, human dignity is a very important concept. And one thing that Jan Figel learned in his experience as EU Special Envoy is that human dignity was a very good way of starting conversations in places like Pakistan, where uh, human dignity is quite controversial, or where human rights are quite controversial, but human dignity is a shared value. Second, we're going to organize a conference and hopefully a book about Chinese conceptions of human dignity. Each of the important ancient Chinese philosophies, Taoism, Moism, and Confucianism, have a conception, different conceptions to be sure, but conceptions of human dignity at the heart of their thinking. And we hope that many in the world will become sensitized and uh, better educated about Chinese perspectives on human dignity. Finally, uh, we'll be uh, uh, under the uh, chair of uh, Jan Figel, uh, organizing a conference and a discussion about civilizational discourse about human dignity. This is a way of being sure that we bring non-faith actors into the conversation as well, where we can think from the perspectives of different global civilizations and how they have defined and understood and implemented the idea of uh, human dignity. Our goal is not to create one single definition of human dignity, nor is it to create a metaphysics or ontology of human dignity. What our efforts are designed to do is to enlarge and amplify a global conversation about what human dignity means to each of us with the hope that this will broaden and expand uh, our understanding and appreciation of what it means to be human. And so I'd like to just simply conclude with an invitation to participate. If any of these projects or programs seem to be of interest to you, or if you know of people that we should definitely seek to include in these conversations, please reach out to us, uh, because our hope is that these projects will be uh, broad in their participation and meaningful in their depth. Thank you very much for letting me interrupt your breakfast. And this concludes our program. So finish eating your conversation and uh, uh, the uh, opening sessions, the plenary session, I think, starts uh, this morning at 9.30. So there's plenty of time still, 45 minutes. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I have here. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Good. yeah. Does you stay here too? No, I drove in this morning. Because hmm. I live about 45 minutes. You got a lot of traffic in the way. Yeah, uh, I'm traffic on, on uh, 66 highway. Yeah. That's why I'm like, sorry. Okay. Why, you, why you not book in this hotel? Huh? Why you not book in this hotel? It's a bit better for you. Uh, my, my, 
my organization will not pay for it. Oh, okay. I live close by. Yeah. So, okay. But thank you for breakfast. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. How's, how's the food? It's good. Yes? It's good, yeah. Hmm. I like the bread, bread. As long as I don't have to cook, it's good. Right. That's <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> I'm easy. <laughs> it's so easy when it comes to food. Yeah. Very good. Huh? She's on the way. She has to pick her husband yeah. to a metro station. Okay. Because her husband's car is at the shop. Yeah. Let's have my own. So, I, I, so, where are you from in North Carolina? Um, in the Greenboro. Greenboro? Greenboro? Yeah, in Charlotte. Raleigh? Yeah. Raleigh? Uh, no. We don't have in Raleigh. Uh, There's some, you know, some group that have in Raleigh in, in California. Uh, yeah, they have this, yeah, some in, in Greenboro. South Carolina. Oh, okay. Greenville, South Carolina. So yeah. It's not too far away from Greenville. Yeah, from like one hour from one South Carolina. Hour. Yeah, you yeah. know, he stay in in but go to yeah. South. Yeah. yeah. I used to work on Charles a lot over there. Charleston? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Charleston is a nice area. All right. It's you know it's the beach, nice too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Charleston. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably it's me and 4th of July, yeah, as the morbid. Okay. You know, just like a go to museum. Museum is a nice place, you know, they got face, big face area. Also. You've been there before? It's, it's beautiful, yeah. yeah. So when, um, so are you members of the Church of Christ? Uh, the, you know, the Christian church? Yes, no, no. Oh, yeah. Christian church? Yeah. So you speak English or your own language as a church? Uh, we just like some in English and uh, we saw it in my language. Uh, yeah. Do you know Pastor uh, Siriki? Um, Pastor Siriki. Yes, uh, he's in How you uh, met in Sharon? How you know each other? I used to study in California. I oh, okay. I worked for her. Yeah. When I was in, uh, okay. uh, in Fresno, uh, California, there, there are a lot of Hmong. Yeah. Hmong refugees are now. Uh -huh. so okay. She helped them a lot. Yeah. And I worked for her. With all the, the refugees. How long you met us together? Ooh, feel the longest is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yep. yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah we use uh, contact with Sean a lot, you know. Uh -huh. See it's uh, stick with us, you know. Yeah. Are you trying to help um, churches in Vietnam? Mm, yeah. Do you know uh, somebody from um, Steve Parker? Uh, Steve Parker. Yeah. She's helping a lot of people. Oh, I'm traffic. Yeah. Mm, I, I didn't know. Anyway, she's a 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, like modern uh, in North Carolina. It's a lot of the place in the uh, Springboro and Charlotte. Yeah, it's a meeting. What? Probably like 23,000 people. Yes, yes, a lot. Yeah, from the uh, swipe over, come to, uh, to come in like refugee camp. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Kamura. The Kamura, some place, and uh, they go to Thailand. And yeah, we got. Right. Yeah. I, I was a refugee too. I too, you know, all over here, it's a refugee. Hey, Sean. Good morning. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Good morning. I'm sorry, it's getting late. Hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. I'm really sleep well? f finished now. Well, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. 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 Sun and oh, so what's your name? Uh, uh, ten. You can take a picture, so you know. Okay. My oh, we hit. Okay. Let's say that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Okay. You know the the traffic is much heavier this hour than next hour. Right after nine o'clock, it's not so busy. It's morning. I know I I hope so, you know, like, you know, it's a Saturday, it was July 4, you know, right? A lot of summer, you know, people trip, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they don't live in this hotel. They go, I think about twenty, like twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes from here. No. Probably go go a uh, different hotel. Yeah. 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 I think two fifty. Uh, yeah.